It was really only a matter of time before quantum batteries became real. And now they are. Now they are here. Quantum batteries have been developed at the University of Tokyo. Quantum physics, the science of the very, very small, challenges common sense. And to be honest, I don't fully understand how this all works. However, there's incredible new possibilities for technological breakthroughs with insane speeds of quantum computers in combination with artificial intelligence models which are helping people discover new materials that we never would have discovered without these without these super fast super powerful powerful computers that can actually do some degree of thinking on their own the quantum battery uses quantum phenomena to store transfer and deliver energy much more effectively than conventional batteries and it is very possible that something like this could one day replace lithium ion batteries Quantum batteries are not yet ready though for commercial use. It will happen, we're just not quite there yet. Still, they can and very likely will revolutionize fields that require low power and portable energy sources like smart devices, sensors, um, phones, watches, electric vehicles as well. Unlike chemical batteries that rely on materials like lithium or sodium ion, Quantum batteries use very tiny particles such as atoms or photons to store energy in their quantum states. Researchers from the University of Tokyo and Beijing Computational Science Research Center have made a breakthrough in the design and operation of quantum batteries by exploiting a quantum effect that defies the normal notion of time and causality. So you can see here where I'm, I'm starting to get a bit lost, but here's what they said. Their findings published in physical review letters show that we are getting closer to realizing practical real world quantum batteries. The researchers investigated how to charge a quantum battery efficiently. They used optical devices such as lasers and mirrors to manipulate the quantum states of the particles in the battery. This enabled them to discover the pretty much the ideal combination at this point in time for quantum batteries. The key to their success in getting these quantum batteries to work very, very effectively was an indefinite causal order or quantum effect, which allows events to occur in a superposition of different temporal orders. And all that's very confusing. What this all means is that even event A can cause event B, and event B can cause event A simultaneously. This is impossible in the classical world. The way we normally, the way human brains think about things, it's just, it just doesn't make any sense. But where causality follows a clear and fixed direction, um, quantum computers, they, they make things very different. Quantum batteries are included in that. This seemingly paradoxical interaction delivered remarkable results. So these quantum batteries, uh, as, as confusing as they are to understand, actually work very well. ICO-based charging boosted the battery's energy storage capacity and significantly improved energy efficiency. This means that a low power charge can now deliver more energy and better performance than a high power one under the same conditions. Current batteries for low power devices such as smartphones or sensors typically use chemicals such as lithium to store charge, whereas a quantum battery uses microscopic particles like arrays of atoms, said the researchers. While chemical batteries are governed by classical laws of physics, microscopic particles are quantum in nature. So we have, to, so we have a chance to explore ways of using them that bend or break our intuitive notions of what takes place at small, at small scales. One of the researchers on this battery project or for quantum studies stated that through ICO, they were able to showcase how the charging method of a battery composed of quantum, quantum particles could significantly affect its overall performance. They observed a significant increase in the energy stored in the system and improved thermal efficiency. Their findings revealed a counterintuitive outcome regarding the system's interaction. But what does this all mean? Well, they said that a lower power charge had the potential to provide higher energy with greater efficiency compared to a higher power charger using the same apparatus, which was 
a truly bizarre discovery and I can't understand it just, it just doesn't make sense to me if anyone can make sense of this please do so in the comment section below but how can you put a lower charge into a battery and it actually has more charge than if you put a higher charge into the battery and it then provides less charge I mean that just doesn't make sense the implications though of this breakthrough extend far beyond portable devices ICO's ability to manipulate heat transfer within quantum systems could potentially revolutionize solar energy capture. Solar panels lose efficiency due to thermal losses, but leveraging ICO could mitigate those losses, say the researchers, leading to significantly enhanced energy output and all energy input from the solar panels. Now, I don't know exactly how this would work either, but that's what the researchers said. The Tokyo team's pioneering work represents a leap forward in terms of harnessing the unique properties of the quantum realm for practical energy solutions. With ICO as their guiding principle, these future batteries say interesting engineering might just not power our devices, they might rewrite how we capture, store and utilize energy. Eventually someone will be able to explain in very practical terms how quantum batteries work, but that hasn't happened yet. And in the future, I do see quantum batteries playing a definite part, but I don't see that happening for at least 10 to 20 years. I think we're still a very long way away. We may need artificial general intelligence or something like that to truly prove that these batteries will work in the real world. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.